Here's my other 4440. It's a 1980. My dad bought this one. I don't remember what year it was. It was the first tractor I ever did field work with. I think it was about nine years old. This is the one I did a lot of work to. He's got 14,000 hours on it now. The motor's been overhauled once and uh, transmission, rear end, everything's been gone through by me. Today I'm going to show you guys how to <coughs> switch a John Deere over from 1000 RPM to 540. Not a real big deal. There's a snap ring in here. You just gotta take that snap ring out. And it's supposed to, well, they put a snap ring in there in the factory, but I never put it back in there because I've never, I've never had one come back out, so I never put a snap ring back in here. There's a groove in there for another snap ring. Just like this one, but <clears throat> take the old 540L here. You see how that one is? That's a bearing there on the end. You usually do this two handed, and I grab one, one PTO shaft with one hand and grab the other with it. Yeah, there, and I just swap my hands around, but hold my damn phone right now, so I can't do that. Little oil runs out, not much. Here's a thousand, that's what a thousand looks like. Slide her up in there. You look in there, and you can see them that gear in there. That big gear, that's the one that drives. The thousand, and you got this one here. That's what, or that's the big one in the back. That that's the one drives the five forty, and this one on here drives a thousand. So, and there's a little notch on there. That's where your snap ring's supposed to go. Slide her up, slide her in. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> And doubt it. Mm. Should have third arm, third arm, but I don't. Here. She's in. They always keep this pliers. I just set it up on top of the transmission and kind of lay it across because this one can switch quite often. So, now she's 540. Well, you guys seen something you've never seen before? And I don't know, I know Ford does it. The newer Fords, I don't know if the older ones do it, but John Deere's always been this way ever since they started making the 20 series, so that's how you do it. So, you guys see something different and learn something. I don't know. Talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. Hey, ask questions. I don't care. Talk to you guys later.